All right, sweetie, it's time to go to bed, so I'm gonna tuck you in. Okay, Daddy, good night. Love you. Love you, too. Good night, sweetie. Night. Night. Almost forgot to turn off the light. Honey, <sighs> gonna sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was something near. <sighs> I must be just too tired. I gotta go back to sleep. <clears throat> This is legit starting to scare me now. Okay, I'm just dreaming, that's all. That That's all that this is, right? Yeah, that's all this is. That's all that this is. Ah! You know what? No, uh, I'm gonna go over there and make sure everything's okay. Under the bed. <clears throat> Nothing. Yeah, see, uh, I, I told myself I was only hallucinating. Oh, hi. <laughs> Daisy, are you okay? Speak to me. Underneath your bed. Ah, oh, that's just silly. Come on. You know monsters aren't real. You know. <sighs> Sit on Papa's lap. This reminds me of the time when I was your age. I was. I had a monster underneath my bed, too. I would show you a flashback, but we don't have that kind of money. Anyways, so I would show you that flashback, but I can't. So, basically, here, that's what it is. So. I was about very young, and then I had a monster underneath my bed. He had really red eyes, red eyes, very brownish. I don't really remember, I'm just making that crap up. But he did have red eyes though. Basically what I'm trying to say is that, well, even though there was a monster there, I realized that monsters aren't real, and so I tried to ignore it. And therefore, my suggestion is, ignore it. How can I go to sleep and ignore it when I know it's underneath me? Uh, if it will help you, I will go check underneath your bed to make sure there is no monsters. Hmm. Nope, no monsters underneath here. Uh, uh, see, what did I tell you? No monsters. But Daddy, I swear, if it was a monster and red eyes and a, a bear or something, and then it came up to my bed, scared me, and it almost killed me. I don't know what it was. Look, Daisy, it's just a figment of your imagination. This, you're just having a nightmare or something. How can I be having a nightmare if my eyes are open? I don't know what to do. Amy, you do something. Listen, sweetie, it's just probably all in your head, all right? All the sleep is making you see stuff, and it's just all woozy in there. So just try to ignore it, okay? But, Mom, I know it was a monster. You believe me, right? 
<sighs> sure, sweetie, but just please try to go to sleep. <sighs> okay. That's my girl. All right, come on, Amy. Back to bed. Okay, come on, Blue. <clears throat> Maybe they're right. Maybe it is all just part of my brain. I am pretty tired. Okay, I'll try to get back to sleep. Yeah, all part of my brain. I'm sure it was. After all, it didn't touch me or anything, so I couldn't even tell if it was real. Yeah, it's just a part of my imagination. That's all it is. <laughs> you wish. Ah! No, no, you're, you're a part of my imagination. Go away. Oh, I assure you, I am very real. No, no you're not. And to prove it, take this. I, I felt it. I felt you. You're real. Oh, yeah. I'm real, all right. <laughs> Who are you? Get out of my room. Sorry, yeah. That's not gonna happen. I like it here. And you know what's even better? I can torment you all night long. You ain't gonna get no sleep tonight. <laughs> no! Someone help! Crash pass system crash! <laughs> uh, and I landed in the trash. Ah, well, that's just gross. Ah. <laughs> Daisy, what's wrong? You scream again. What's up? Uh, the monster again! For real? You made me get out of bed for this again? But... 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 I touched him! I felt him! He was furry and terrifying. Daisy, you're my daughter and I love you, okay? But... This is getting ridiculous! There is no such thing as monsters! But you said you had a monster problem when you were younger. How did you deal with it? I told you I ignored it. But what? Okay, in this scenario, since I can't ignore it, what would you do? Well, I'd probably invite a friend over to give me some emotional support. Hmm, emotional support. Dad, do you think I can invite Milo over? You mean Tails clone? Ugh. All right, I guess so. <sighs> I'll call him. Matter of fact, you take the phone. I'm too tired for this. I am going to bed, and I'm not coming back in here if you scream again. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Milo, please answer. Please answer. Um, hello? Milo, thank goodness you answered. Whoa, oh my gosh, Daisy, are you okay? What's wrong? Listen, look, I'll explain it later, but please, get over to my house now. Okay, I'll be there soon. Oh, thank you, God. About five minutes later. Hey Daisy, I'm here. Milo! Oh, thank goodness you came. Whoa, didn't expect that. What's wrong? Why'd you call me over here? Um, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. But well, I'm already here, so you might as well. So go ahead and tell me what's wrong. I, um, I, I have a monster under my bed. What? No way! Me too! Really? You had one? Uh-huh, I had one, but I got rid of him. How'd you do that? Tell me so maybe I can try it out. I fought him to the death. Oh dear, I don't think I can do that. Oh, well, that's really all I got. Uh, why did you call me over? Well, you know, just to ask you to get how to get rid of it. Do you think you can maybe stay the night and give me some emotional support? Well, I don't know. I have to call Tails and tell him that I'm going to stay here. I don't really know if I can do that. Please? Okay. But only for you. I'll call him. Thank you. About another five minutes later. 
Okay, I called him, and he said it was perfectly fine. Awesome! You know, our voices sound so similar, I can't even tell the difference sometimes. I am, me either. I don't really like it. Me either. <sighs> I hate it. Mm, double. We should stop, uh huh? Okay, let's go to bed. Thank you for coming on this way, Milo, just to help me with this. Of course, I never leave a very close friend in, um, with no help. Oh, thank you. Well, <clears throat> let's go to bed then. Okay then. Night, night. Is that a phone notification? Oh no, it's probably that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say. The more the merrier. About exactly at three o'clock at night. <laughs> ah! Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong? Something just bit me on the foot. Is that... Is that... Yeah, it is. Well, hello, child. And child number two? You know, you look so familiar. Like I've seen you somewhere. It's you! Milo, you know him? He... He was my monster under my bed! Yeah, was. Until you messed me up. Give me all these scars and scratches on me. I should have just finished you off when I had the chance. Well, too late for that, Sonny Jim. Now I'm stuck in the, in this room, and I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Can I not now? No. Oh, you think you're going to do something to stop me? I'm practically invincible. You can't stop me. <laughs> Come back here, you coward! <laughs> Why, I had a... He's gone. Check under the bed. He's not under there! No... Okay, this is clearly bad. I mean, this thing can, like, go invisible or something, or something, something, I don't know. Well, you've seen him before, can't you find him again? I don't know if I can. I'm gonna scream into my pillow out of anger. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Ugh. Hey, wait a minute. My voice. Hey, it's a lower picture. Oh. Now I just sound like normal tails. This kind of sucks. Now, like, now me and normal tails are just going to sound the same. Well, we'll figure that part out later. Not important. What's important is that we figure out how to stop this problem. Agreed. But what do we do? Hmm. Okay, I have a plan. It's a little complicated, but I promise it'll work. Do your best. Tell me what it is. Well, it's risky, but let's give it a shot. All right. Let's go to sleep. Later at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky time. Ma! What? They're gone. What up, fat boy? <laughs> you little brat, you'll die for this. Uh oh. <laughs> Get off of me. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Fuck!
right, punk. Watch this. Should have just backed down when you had the chance, child. Now you die. No! Leave him alone! Finish him. Who's the boss now, punk? Uh, you know, all that hard work did work up an appetite. Uh, uh, you don't want to eat me. I'm just skin and bones. I don't think it would taste very good. I will be the judge of that. No. Someone help! Uh, no one can help you now. Your parents are asleep. You're hopeless. Stand back. This might hurt to watch. Oh dear. Why bother even getting up, child? I've already won. What possibly left you have to gain? What's your motivation at this point? I've won already. What do you, what do you have left? I got my f friends, family. And also, my sweet, adorable crush. Aww, how sweet. Ah, oh, you're so gay. That's it, I'm done with this. Huh? <laughs> No more. I, I, uh, yeah. Ain't so tough, are you now? Now you're the one who's afraid. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> survived way worse. He had a chainsaw last time I fought him. Let's hope this is the final time. <sighs> hope I never see him again. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I'm just glad you're okay. I thought I lost you. That's okay. 
it's all okay now. Thank you so much for coming and saving my life. Hey, anything to help out a friend, a very close friend. More than friends. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Don't ever leave me. I promise I never will. <sighs> Mama Mia macaroni and cheese. Want on want. What's with all this scream? Oh. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Huh? Oh! Huh. Uh, hi, uh, hey Sonic. Hey Milo, what's up? Hey Jay-Z, what's up? What's with all the noise going on here? Here is some loud banging and crap. Holy crap! Daisy, what is that? That, that was the monster under my bed. You mean, you actually had a monster? You thought I lied to you, Daddy? Well, uh, maybe. Dad, you gotta believe me more. <sighs> Sorry. What's on the noise? You woke up blue. Sorry, Mommy, but Milo killed the monster underneath my bed. Let's check out this boy. Oh, let's see here. Hey, you! Is he alive? No. Oh. But hey, him! He was the monster underneath my bed. Wow, that's surprising. Apparently, you're the monster. He was his monster underneath my bed, and then he became my monster underneath my bed, and then he became your monster underneath my bed. Or his bed. Wait, shoot. So he was all three of us monsters underneath their, our beds. I'm getting really confused with all the words in bed, so I'm going to bed. Be right with you, sweetie. Okay, so uh, what do we do with that? Well, we could put it in the garbage disposal and tell no one. Boss, I'm gonna go do it. <sighs> I love you so much. I love you too. So you think we should go back to sleep then? I definitely think so. Now we can sleep. Wait a minute, what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning. You mean we stayed up all night dealing with that thing? Now I'm glad it's putting in the garbage disposal. Oh, this sucks. Yeah. Well, now what? Well, we could eat breakfast? That works. Come on, let's go eat. Tonight's been a real weird night, Sonic. <laughs> You're telling me. Daisy's screaming, I'm making all that noise. And apparently there was a monster underneath her bed, so that makes it even more weird. Yeah, but it was weirder for me. Wait until you hear it. Well, first, you didn't... Um, the thing that was weird for me was, yes, all the screaming, of course. And, of course, definitely the monster. But one of the stranger things, I was... Feeling a little weird. What do you mean weird, Amy? I don't know, Sonic. I just don't know. I was just feeling weird. Well, what kind of weird? I don't know, just kind of a little bit of a headache, but also a little bit of a stomach ache, too. A weird feeling in there, too. Oh. Well, don't give it a second thought. Good night, Amy. Hmm. Weird feeling. I right, will give it a second thought. Good night, Sonic Kill. Uh, <laughs> good night, Amy. Hmm.